Hi, and welcome to another episode of Pensacola Computers Presents. Today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of cool new features found in PowerPoint 2010, the photo gallery and picture tools. This is part of the new Office 2010, which was just released this past week by Microsoft. We're going to go ahead and open up PowerPoint 2010, go to a new project, and as we look around, we see that the interface is fairly familiar, looks a lot like it did with the PowerPoint 2010. We're going to go to Insert, Photo Album, and choose to create a new photo album. We're going to then go pick some pictures from a folder on our computer, and we're going to insert those. And we take a look here at the dialog box for the photo album, we see there's still some things we can do right here. One of them is to add a theme, which will be like the backgrounds for the photo gallery for all the pictures. We go ahead and select that. We see we can also go to individual pictures and adjust things like the contrast or the brightness or even the rotation of the picture, how it's going to look in the photo gallery before we actually create the photo gallery itself. Once we're ready, we click create and what this does is this creates our photo gallery for us with one picture on each slide with a title frame for us. Now we're going to take a look at some of the cool things we can do with the pictures themselves once we have them inside a PowerPoint. We go ahead and select the picture and we'll go up here to our picture tools and format and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to apply a picture style. Microsoft has provided us with a whole bunch of pretty cool photo styles. One of my favorites being this 3D one which gives us a 3D look. I'm going to take this picture and resize it and move it a little bit to make it a little bit easier to use. Now we're going to look at a couple of things we can do to the picture. We have corrections where we can sharpen and soften or change the brightness and contrast. One of the cool things about this is we can actually preview it by hovering over what, the, what it's going to be before it actually changes. If we like it, we can then click on it to apply. Otherwise, we take off and it stays the same. We can go to our color where we can change color saturation the color tone, or even recolor it, giving it like a sepia look or even a different color to give it a little different effects that we see on the screen. And we also have these artistic effects, which are much like Photoshop filters that we can apply, give it a little artsy look to the picture, same kind of thing, hover over it for a preview. If you like it, click on it. If you don't, it reverts back to the way it was. We can also do something like add a picture border with a certain color or even add some picture effects. Things like shadows are one of my favorites, which is the reflection. We can actually add a reflection to the picture, um, which is going to take and give us like a mirror image of the picture underneath of it. So we find what we like, we click it and click apply. There's some other things you can do with the layout and things like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the picture and go down and select the format picture. What this does is this brings up the format picture dialog, which gives us a little bit more of a granular control on what we can do with some of the effects. Like the 3D rotation, we can actually change the different aspects of the 3D rotation by clicking the thing, giving it a different perspective, making it look different, and getting it so we just how we like it on the screen. Also notice that it also moves the reflection, the effect that we added, as we change rotation. Other things we can do, we can add a glow, uh, soften the edges, change the actual reflection, the transparency of the reflection, the size, the distance, much more granular controls of some of the options that we can apply up on the tool strip. We can also see there's things like the artistic effects, we can add text box, we can change the line style, the line colors, a lot of different little formats, things. This can give us stunning presentations, making an exceptional thing with just the pictures alone. A very cool new feature that Microsoft has given us. Thanks for visiting. See us on the web at PensacolaComputers.com.